www.newdeboss.com. This is again Ty. Uh, it's been quite a while. I haven't created a video. Uh, past two weeks been a busy week for me. But this time, uh, I'm back. And what I would like to share to you today is uh, actually, I'm creating a series of video tutorials for Adobe Audition first. Then, up next would be uh, Adobe Premiere and some other tutorials. For the current tutorials that we have on YouTube, do check that out in case you missed out something prior. You might have to learn first before this video. So again, what I'd like to share to you today would be uh, extracting an audio file right out of an existing MP4 file using Adobe Audition uh, CS. Six. Where is my audition? Here, you got Adobe Audition CS6 right here. This is quite a jump for me. I've been using Adobe Audition 3.0 before. Uh, 3.0 is is okay. I haven't seen much of a difference yet. Um, maybe for me, just the interface. Uh, I'm not saying that nothing's been changed, but um, I haven't noticed much yet. <laughs> okay, so for now, again, what I like to um, help you out with is extracting an audio file from an mp4 file like you'd wanna use the audio file for that certain video but you don't want to use the video file so you wanna mix up somehow so what you do when you first um, open Adobe Audition CS6 it's gonna give you your waveform view right here which is gonna if you okay on that you're, you're going to be creating recordings for this right so from here, uh, if you click on that, it's, it's going to run. It's going to record your voice. So if you click on that, it's, it's uh, pretty much, uh, if you don't know how to do basic recording yet, we have a prior tutorial for that. You can check that out on YouTube. But for now, we are going to use multi-track right here. Instead of waveform view, you're on a waveform right now. Again, let me uh, just close that and go back to Audition right here. By default, if you didn't change anything, it's going to take it to waveform view. But you just have to press multi track right here on top. It's going to ask you to uh, name a title for your session. Let's say Extraction. That's quite a statement. Click on OK. And there you go. It's going to give you, if you might have used uh, Adobe Audition 3.0, Cool Edit Pro, Adobe Audition 2.0, they pretty much look the same. Um, again, for me, I haven't much checked on anything yet, just the interface. So what you do is you want to load uh, your video file straight to here. Oh, so from here, what you do is you have to browse for your file, which you'd want to use the audio and not the video. All right. So given that you are just going to extract the audio for this, so looking for a file, I've got a lot of videos right here, which I've used. I mean, I've uploaded to YouTube already some gaming videos. If you want to check on that, just do check out our channel. So again, bring up here and let's go back to that folder. We're just going to look up for something that says, uh, let's think of like here, Dust Dome. This is an Android game, but it has got a, uh, a voiceover, like a, a story, uh, sort of like an introduction. So we're just going to use this again. Uh, here, I'm going to use an MP4 file. If you notice, it's .mp4. I got the extension right there. Okay. So just drag that straight to here. Alright, and it's going to say like this. The sample rate of the audio inserted death dome is not matched the sample rate of the session. Please click OK. Um, it's it's just going to like match for, if you remember, just click on OK right there. And it's, it's going to create a sample. But you don't have really to mind that very much. Why? Because let me go back and show you. Um, click back on waveform. Let me close this, delete that, and let's say I just want to show you something that somehow would help you not to be confused at some point. 
we're going to do the audition CS6 again if you click on multi-track it's going to ask you sample rate 44 100 all right again 44 100 stereo that's dual channel 32 bit if you go back to the file right here desk dome right click on that click on properties and it should give you something that will look like let me bring it here at the center and go for details again it's an mp4 file it's a video file look for details and look for something that says uh bit rate sample rate right here so it's using 48 so you're using 40 uh, 44 100 Right, so it should be like this here. If you select that 48,000 and click on OK, uh, oh, one second, let me just rename this uh, uh, sample extraction. Again, this is different from the first one that we created earlier that gave us that sample rate error. It's not really an error, it's just a warning that you're using a different sample rate for the audio. So again, we set that to 48. Why? Because it's also 48 right here. All right, so just click on OK. And go back right here. Drag the thumb to that. And it's not going to give you any error. But you simply have that in there, right straight to that. So what you do is you play that. So you can test. If you would want to play it, you just press on uh, spacebar. I don't remember where it started, but before long, it was everywhere. There you go. So that's the narration part that we would want to use for uh, for something else, probably. So what you do is you might want to make this. Uh, let's say we're just going to extract this part right here. Okay. So we just click on. Uh, sorry. Just split that from there you do is one sec, let me just double click on this and we are just going to highlight through to the end part click on OK and just left off with this part right here and go back to multi-track when you when you double click on that by the way it's going to take you to waveform view go back to multi-track then you're just left to I mean left with only this take a look at that it's blank already all right so this is the only audio file that you want to use double click on that and control a to highlight everything right click over that and you say uh, something that says save selection as when you do that it's going to ask you to save the format to only mp3 you got a lot of options right here mp2 quick time uh, so it's an audio file. What you want to do is just save it as MP3, right? If you want to save it as FLAC, so you don't lose a lot, then you can. If you want to save it like this, Wave or .wav, that's gonna be possible too. So for me, MP3 audio is enough. So what I do is, um, I select MP3 audio, go browse right here, and look up for desktop. And let's say uh, it's going to rename that automatically for you. That's the um, uh, Android gameplay. So, what you do, let's say uh, narration gameplay extracted. All right, let's click on desktop once again so you'd be sure it's going to fall in there. Click on save, click on OK. Then it's going to run up a little bit, bring down, and you got right here. You say something that. Uh, narration gameplay extracted right there you see that so what you do is you play that and let's say it's going to take a little while because I haven't used the player yet since boot up I don't remember where it started but before long it was everywhere the M virus there you go most who showed symptoms were dead within close that Okay, so there you go. Um, that's how you would extract uh, an audio file from Adobe Audition CS6. For some other video tutorials, you can check out www.newtoboss.com. Again, my name is Ty. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.